Hey campers, I am so happy you are here for today's love adventure. And today we are playing into love. And I love this because this has been a big part of our love camp experience. And one of the things that I'd like to experiment with today, or let's say uh, look at, are some of the games that we want to eliminate from our love and relationship space. So that's why we're hanging out at the Love Camp Program Lodge this morning to really look at some of the games that we have locked up because what we've discovered is that if you keep playing these games in your love and relationship space, not only do you tend to sabotage your relationships, but it makes things a lot less fun, believe it or not. How weird is it that they're called games and they're not that fun? So let's look at some of these games. And hey, why don't you take out your journal and you can make some notes about some of the places and spaces or the games that you might be playing that now once you have this awareness of them that you don't have to play them anymore. So what are these games? Well, the first one I'd like to share is what I would call the good girl, the Pollyanna people pleaser, the one that tends to want to always get it right. And how many times have you played this on a date where you were scared to say what you wanted to say because you didn't want to be rejected or you didn't want to, to turn someone off or have them run away if they didn't think the same thing you did. And I know just maybe hearing this, it may sound silly, but I think we've all been in a place where we felt kind of shy about revealing who we truly are. So just note, how many times have you found yourself in that people-pleasing game? And if that's been you, just, just make a little note that that's one of the games that we can play in relationship that actually keeps us from having an honest relationship with ourselves and what it is that matters for us. The next game that I want to share is the one that I call the hopeless one. And the hopeless one is sometimes when you feel like, wow, things just don't work out for me. Maybe you've had a bad experience in the past or multiple bad experiences. And there is this tendency, maybe it's a habit, maybe um, it's a pattern of going into, this is never going to work for me, or nothing really works for me, or wow, there's probably no one out there for me. Any level of that kind of scarcity or hopelessness or feeling like things aren't going to work out, is one of the games that we can play in our mind that makes us forget that we get to create our life. So if you've ever found yourself in that hopeless one game where you felt like maybe the victim or like things aren't going to work out, just make a little note of that one. Now, the next game is what I call the rescuer. Have you ever felt like that in relationship where you've met someone who you can see the potential and you're thinking, wow, if, if this and this and this changes, then this is the perfect person. And having that sense of, I'm the one that can make this person change. And then months later, years later, you find yourself in the same position where you're still dragging this person along, they're never quite meeting the bar, and you're feeling like you wasted a lot of time. So if you've ever been in that place where you've been the rescuer, where you see a lot of potential and 
yet you've ignored some red flags, then mark a little note on, yes, I've recognized I've played the rescuer game before. I definitely have played all these games, so please don't make this a reason to feel bad about yourself or a reason to beat yourself up. This is just a practice in looking at the games that we may have been playing that we can change. And I will definitely show you how to shift that in a minute. So then the next game I wanted to bring out is the one, this one's interesting because when you pull out the box for this game on the cover, there is this woman and she's like, she looks like she's got like fire coming out of her ears and her face is all like crinkly and, and there's blood kind of coming down her mouth and, and she's got fangs and she's flipping the bird and well, this one's called the don't F with me game. And this is when there's just so much frustration and resentment that the way that dating ends up being is one defensive moment after the next, more about warding off any danger. And oftentimes, there's a sense of like men are evil or men are jerks and there's kind of a residue of that. And, you know, I'm exaggerating this quite a bit, but when you're in that situation and there's pain from the past that hasn't been resolved, then sometimes it can be really hard to then have that closeness and receive from another person because there's just so much bitterness and you may even feel jaded around relationships. So if you can relate to having that sort of like, don't F with me kind of murmur or mumbling or even a low trickle of that will actually sabotage dating and love. So be aware of that one. Are you playing that game? Do you sense you are? Yes or no, make a note if you notice. The next one, and um, this one, this will be the last one I share in our session this morning. And this one is the super, I don't need a man, I'm an independent woman game. And this one oftentimes comes with a sense of proving, but it's also you know, yeah, how many of us grew up in a generation where we heard that, where you don't need a man, you can be successful. And this doesn't take away all of the sex, success that you have created or have right now. This isn't about saying you should be less successful. This is about actually, you know, anywhere where you are equating having a person in your life with like losing something when it comes to you being able to have your power and your success and everything that you know you have created, then that becomes sort of a game of not being able to receive from another person. So um, if you're playing sort of the independent woman, I don't need a game like in either service of not losing anything in your life or in service of proving that you don't need anyone when actually the beauty of a relationship is being able to give and receive and let someone help you and support you. Not that you need help, but let someone contribute to you. And that's a beautiful thing. So I'm curious to know which, one, which ones of these games have you been playing and are you willing to put all of these games away forever? And there's probably more games we could talk about, but that should cover it for today. And now we have a really big surprise for you at camp. So um, if you look over to the door to the program lodge, you'll notice all of your camp counselors are coming in the door. They have a big surprise for you. So when you see your camp counselor, come in the door, wave at your camp counselor, and then 
And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the opening ceremony and you'll know, but your imagination will show you even now that your camp counselor is here. How cool is that? And then they have a special surprise for you. So give it a moment and just notice that they are going around to the back room and they're coming back with a very special person. And the, your camp counselor will come over to you and with them is your future partner. Yay! Can you believe it? After receiving a couple love notes from your future partner and guess what? We flew them in. They are here to be with you in this exercise. So as you're here, your future partner is just going to sit right in front of you and you're welcome to give them a big hug, hold hands with them, enjoy this. And right here and now, you're going to get the sense and look into their eyes, hold hands with them, and notice how it feels to be present with this person. And notice what happens in your body when you're present with this person. And noticing how good it feels to not actually have to pull out any of those games right now. Just right here and now, just be present. And in the presence of this, in the energy of this, let yourself receive the adoration, the giddiness, the kindness. Notice what it feels like to be here and now with your beloved who adores you for you. And let your body relax with each breath into this moment. If there's any tension on the next breath, it just naturally melts away. With each word that you hear in this experience, the tension, the stress, the fear just melts away. So melting into this connection with your future partner. And what's beautiful about this relationship is that you are seen, you are heard. You're not needing to play any games around waiting for them to call you or wondering what you need to do or say or, or losing weight or dressing a certain way or saying the right thing. There's no walking on eggshells. There's just this sense of being appreciated for you. And you can even feel how much you appreciate your future partner. You appreciate how responsive they are. You appreciate that they have a growth mindset. You appreciate that they actually are able to say, hey, I am excited to have a relationship. I do want a relationship. There's no question. And that you can see and experience and know how where you connect in your values. That there's no trying to wait for them to like catch up or or you know reach out to you or respond in a way that you don't have to guess that this is what makes this relationship so comforting because you have that security together, the security and the, the groundedness of the, the knowing that you can communicate and play and laugh together. Just give yourself a few moments of this. And as you're here, you may even be aware of the energy that moves between you. I like to see it like a figure eight as you shower them with kindness and caring, they receive it. And as you know, they shower you with kindness and caring that you can receive it. And then it just is a flow of back and forth. 
that you can be there for that person. And this person is here for you. How good does that feel? How good does it feel that you get to have the ease and the joy and the lightness and the abundance and are you willing to do whatever it takes to be ready for this, to do whatever it takes to get to the space where you can receive this? So this becomes the guiding light of your journey to love. And as your imagination and your body experience this as real and true in this world, because it is, it's, it's actually occurring right here and now, and in the sensory experience of it occurring in your imagination, your body knows this as real. So give your body this experience as it provides this healing and reminds the cells in your body that, yes, it's safe to be present with your person. And this is what it feels like to be present with someone who cares about you. And with each breath, you deepen that even more. It deepens, it grows, it deepens, it grows. It expands. And just noticing how good that feels. Give yourself that sensation. Give yourself this moment. And we invite you to allow this to be something that continues in your life. So here at camp, here in this program, you get to have it right now and you get to return to it at any time. How exciting is that? So here you can even make a plan with your future partner. How, when do you want to meet each day? How do you want to connect each day? How many times would you like to connect and give yourself that? So please enjoy your time with your beloved and let yourself Take a moment maybe to write down some of the sensory experience that is here and now, noticing what it's like, noticing what you recognize about this, noticing what you're aware of about this that maybe you weren't aware of before. Write that down, write that down, and maybe even make a list of things that you're willing to choose to continue to grow in this. And that is playing into love. So thank you for being here today at our love adventure. Have an amazing day at camp. Oh. Love camp where we find our beauty when we know we're worthy that's when we attract true love is always within us i know when i trust it it's my destiny my destiny <laughs>